If this video is helpful to you, please consider subscribing to the channel, like the video and comment your feedback. So I'm going to create a new ReliJS project in the VS Code. So for that, npx create React tab. I'm giving the name of the project as Auth. So our new React.js project will be installed, will be created. We have to wait for some time. Okay, so our new React.js project have been created. Next, I'm going to remove all the boilerplate codes or unwanted files, like logos, app.test.js, And I'm going to remove this portion of index index.js. And I'm going to change the app.js as like this way. Next, I'm going to run the project. Okay, so here is the project. So next, I'm going to take the Auth0 website. I'm typing Auth0. So here, this first link is the website. So when I click to the first link, you, you can see that we will be redirected to this section. Then here, you can see in the nav bar, there is an option for sign up. I'm going to click on the sign up button. So when I click on the sign up button, we can see that there are uh, options like Google, GitHub, Microsoft, Microsoft for uh, sign up. And also we can sign up by using our email address. So now I'm going to sign up by using Google account. So I'm clicking continue with the Google. Okay. So we will be redirected to this space. Here you can see that uh, there is a button which says create application at the beginning itself. So I'm going to click on the create application button. Then we have to give our website's name. So I am giving the name as auth app. Okay. So here there is an option that we need to select. That means what is the type of our application? The types are native, single page web application, regular web applications, machine to machine applications. So, so I'm going to select the single page web applications as we are creating such a type. So after that, I'm going to click on the create button. Then you can see that this is our project. Then we have to select the technology that we are using. So I'm going to select the react menu. Then here they, sh they are showing two options. That means do we need to integrate with our own app or we need a sample app from them. So uh, we, we, uh, we have already created our React.js project. So I am choosing this. I want to integrate with my app. So we need to integrate the auth zero with our app. So here is some steps for doing that. So here as a first step, a step we have to do the configure auth zero. So uh, when we move downwards, you can see that uh, this is the configuration they are asking. For, uh, that means uh, we need to give the callback URLs and logout URLs uh, in this our project for uh, uh, as a first step. So for that, uh, in the application settings, you can see that. This is our project, Auth app. I'm going to select it, this project. So there is uh, some details like name and domain, client ID, etc. And when we move uh, downwards, here you can say that uh, see the allowed callback URLs, allowed logout URLs. As uh, today we are doing login and logout. So I'm going to give the uh, give the URL here. So I'm going to select the URL from here as like this way. I'm uh, giving that here. 
okay uh, i'm giving the same uh, url in the logout url also and next when we move a bottom we can see that there is an option or a button for save changes or i am clicking the save changes button so successfully saved your changes it may take 30 seconds before they take effect okay so when we come back to uh, this area you can see that uh, we have done the uh, we have uh, uh, given our url to this callback and uh, logout next section is to install the auth0 react sdk so for that i am going to copy this command that is npm install auth0 auth0 react and i am going to run that command in our new terminal so here so i am going to install the auth0 sdk into our react.js project okay so in the package.json you can see that uh, the auth0 sdk has been installed next uh, when we move downward you can see that uh, there is a code snippet so here what they are doing is they are importing the auth0 provider from the auth0 react so i am going to copy this and to paste it in the index.js file so here i have uh, imported the auth0 from the auth0 react then next uh, we need to uh, use that uh, component that is auth0 provider and uh, we need to wrap uh, app component into it okay so you, you can see here so i'm going to copy this and to paste it here okay so now you can see that we have used the auth0 component then there are uh, three uh, props that are passed to this auth0 component one is domain then second is the client id and third is authorization parents so domain we need to give our own domain and also client id so in the website you can see that uh, we have opened the our uh, our uh, project before this is the details of our project so here you can see that uh, the name the domain is here so i'm going to copy this domain and to paste it directly here okay next uh, we need to copy the client id also and i'm just pasting it in here so we have given the domain and client id so these are the two things that we need to give uh, that we need to give from our project details okay so redirect URI, URI is given as window window location of origin itself. Okay. So next, what we have to do is when we move to the next step, you can see that we have done or used the auth0 provider in our index.js. Next, when we move downward, you can see that we need to create a a component for our login. So next, I'm going to create a component. That is in the components folder. I'm going to create a component named home. Here, home.js. Okay. Here, I'm going to use or create two buttons. That's like this way one is for login and one is for logout. okay the next thing what we have to do is here you can see that we have to import the auth0 from the auth0 react sorry youth use auth0 from the auth0 react so i'm going to copy that and to import this like as like this way so i have imported the youth use auth0 from the auth0 react so next thing what i'm doing is we have a login with the redirect in the auth0 so i'm going to use that forms so i'm going to copy and paste it there
so we need a login with redirect next what i am going to do is we need to give this login with the redirect function in the on click of the button so i am going to copy this section and paste it in the button of the login okay so we have done the login here so next what we have to do is log out so for that i am moving downward and you can see the section of logout here here they have used the logout from the use or zero so i am going to use the logout here as like this way okay so next thing i'm going to uh, do is i'm going to use this logout function in the logout button as like this way so i'm going to copy it and paste it in the logout button okay so we have done the login and the logout so you can see here sorry i have not used this home component in the app.js so i am going to use this home component as like this way okay so next you can see that there is two button that is login button and logout button so next what i am going to do is we can use another thing from the use ports that means is authenticator i'm using this is authenticator to check whether it, the user is logged in or logged out okay so uh, on the basis of this i am going to uh, switch the uh, buttons like logout and login that means if the user is uh, authenticated we don't need the login button we need the logout button okay so i'm putting that uh, condition here that means if the user authenticated then we need a logout button otherwise we need a login button okay so i'm going to copy this log uh, logout button cut the logout button and paste it here so here you can see that uh, when the user is authenticated then we have to show the logout button if the user is not authenticated then we have to show the login button okay so if uh, the user is logged in we can say that uh, welcome to the website and otherwise we can sh uh, show that uh, you are not logged in something like this way so we can uh, show this also as the condition with the uh, is authenticated that means uh, if it is authenticated then it is showing us welcome to the website if uh, it is not authenticated uh, it will show you are not logged in okay so uh, when we take the browser you can see that here first uh, first uh, it is not logged in so it is showing you are not logged in then uh, we can see that there is login button so now i am going to uh, console the is authenticated also for showing to you console.log is authenticated okay so here when i am taking the uh, i am taking console also along with this okay so next thing i am going to do is i am going to the uh, app our app that is auth app here you can see the quick starter settings and add also connections so i am going to click on these connections here you can see that there are uh, options such as uh, auth username password authentication or if you if you need if you need only google auth uh, authentication so i am going to show you today the google auth authentication so i am going to deselect the username password authentication okay so now you can see that when i go to the browser and i am going to uh, click on the uh, login button at that time you can see that so when i refresh you can see in the console it is false that means uh, is authenticated is false first 
okay so uh, that means uh, this uh, we are not logged in so it is showing false so here it is show, it is showing you are not logged in next i am going to click on the login button at that time you can see that a pop-up will be available there then we they will ask uh, that means continue with google okay as like this way so i am going to click on the continue with the google off button so now you can see that we have logged in successfully so here in the uh, console is authenticated is uh, turned as true and here uh, there is a logout button and also welcome to the website okay next time i'm going to click on the logout button and then you can see that uh, this uh, logged uh, is authenticated is turned into false and uh, here it is showing you are not logged in and also now it is login button so this is the simple or zero uh, google authentication i think this is very clear if this video is helpful to you please consider subscribing to your channel like the video and comment your feedback thank you